Cascal drinkers are very particular when it comes to quality, and rightly so. Getting it right in the cellar and behind the bar is essential to making sure every pint passed across the bar is in perfect condition. So this is Caskmark's top tips for making sure everything's done right so drinkers receive the perfect pint. The temperature in the beer cellar is critical to how your cask ale behaves. The perfect temperature is between 11 and 13 degrees. Check it every time you go in the cellar. If it's too cold, the cask ale will be slow to condition. It might appear cloudy, called a chill haze, and it won't taste right. Too warm and the beer will go off quickly, picking up unwanted aromas and flavours. Make sure the cellar cooling fans are switched on and unobstructed and the cellar door is kept closed. Cask ale sometimes has a long way to travel to the bar, so the temperature of the ale is maintained using an ale python. The ale python control unit needs to be switched on and topped up with water regularly. Order your Top Me Up sticker from Caskmark. Check the temperature of the beer in the glass regularly using a thermometer. This will indicate if the APC is working correctly. Like any fresh food, cascal needs to be stored in a scrupulously clean environment, otherwise it will deteriorate rapidly. All equipment used to condition the ale also needs to be cleaned and hung up to air dry. Use odourless chemicals to clean the cellar and don't store anything like fresh food and fruit in there. If your cellar has odours, your cask ale will smell and taste of these odours. If you're using auto tilts, make sure you include these in your weekly cleaning regime. Clean the springs or coils to ensure they don't become sticky. When dirty, the springs stick and the container does not tilt in a smooth action, causing the sediment to become loose, resulting in cloudy beer. If you want your cask ale to retain its condition for the maximum amount of time on sale, Always put your beer to bed at the end of the night. Turn the tap off and put a hard peg in the shive. This will prevent any air entering the cask when you're not trading. If you're using upright extractor rods, turn the valve to the closed position. It's a bit like putting the top back on a bottle of pop. It keeps all the fizz in and prevents it losing its life. To prevent any yeast build up in the beer lines, clean them every seven days. After flushing water through the lines, use a three-step process. Draw line cleaning solution through the line, leave to soak for 10 minutes, then agitate more line cleaner through the lines two more times. This effectively removes any stubborn yeast buildup. Oh, and if there's any surplus line cleaner left, dispose of it down the sink or into the drain. It loses its effectiveness within 24 hours. All beer should be dispensed into a clean, cold, dry glass. If you're using sparklers on your cascale spouts, remove them at the end of the night, wash them in hot water and leave them to air dry. Finally, remember that each cask needs to be sold within three days, so don't put a huge range of beers on unless you're confident you'll sell each brand within the time scale. It's one of the biggest reasons why pubs fail their cask mark assessment. Too many beers on sale for too long. If you want to brush up on your cellar management skills, Caskmark have a brilliant one day course called the Award in Beer and Cellar Quality. It leads to a level two qualification and they hold these courses at breweries around the country. Alternatively, they also offer personalised one-to-one -one training sessions in your own cellar. This lasts for about an hour and it's proven to help increase your yields and improve beer quality. Just check out the training tab on the Caskmark website. Check the cellar temperature every day. It should be 11 to 13 degrees centigrade. Check the cellar cooling fans and keep the cellar door shut. The ale python should be switched on and topped up. Hard peg casks at night to maintain condition. Clean lines every seven days. Sell cask ale within three days.